don't go to Zion National Park, because you're just going to ruin it for everyone else. You may know me as someone who sits behind a thrifted coffee table and rants about things that pisses him off. But I'm so much more than that. As modern climatologists, it's important that we stay in tune with Mother Nature. That's why this past weekend, I went to Zion National Park. Originally known as Mukuntuweep by the Southern Payette Indians, Zion National Park became just that uh, in the early 1900s. It's incredible. Uh, Zion National Park is one of the most unique experiences. It looks like something out of Jim Cameron's Pandora. I could have been flying with the Navi. That's how high this place makes me. I hiked up the Scout Lookout. I hiked up to the Narrows, but the Narrows were closed because of flash floods. Uh, I probably got in much more than my daily averaged 400 steps. The merch store was average. Uh, I, I went there. All I got was this hat. Um... But national parks are essential to keeping the planet what it is, a, a planet. Humans fucking ruin everything. <laughs> humans mess things up. We cover things in concrete. We coat things in plastic. So much of human society feels like a puzzle that doesn't, it feels like you're part of a puzzle that, that doesn't have all the pieces or, or two separate puzzles that are mixed together and they just don't fit. But when I went to Zion National Park, I felt like I fit into something. Like, your, your, your body is where it belongs. The national park system is flawed, but so is humanity. And, and, and one of the examples of humanity's flaws is at Zion, all of the bathrooms just have those hand blowers. You know what I'm talking about. It just blows in shit air that kind of uh, sprays your hands uh, in an attempt to dry them. And, to, and I was disappointed by this. I'm a paper towel boy. But if there were paper towels in these bathrooms, they'd be all over the park. Humans cannot be trusted with paper towels. You only learn this when you, they, you remove them from your reality. And that's just an example that humans in, unintentionally ruin everything. <laughs> that's why there's also confliction in wanting people to go to national parks. Because the more people that go to national parks, the more polluted it is, the more crowded it is, the more people go off trail, the more disrespect happens to the land. So I understand not wanting people to go. But when you see just Zion for what it is, it's life-changing. It truly is. And, and everyone needs to see it. Human-made things are not life. We try to perfect what has been given to us, and it usually ends up pretty messy. We end up with things like Nerds Clusters and Peeps Flavored Pepsi. But when we just sit back and allow nature to, to give us what it already has, it's the greatest gift. Do I think you should go to Zion National Park? No, you'll ruin it for everyone else. But yes, absolutely. Go to every national park. Go to the one nearest you. Go to your local state park. Because doing that finally puts into perspective why this land is so valuable to indigenous people, why it's so essential for our mental health. Going to see land and going to see mountains, <laughs> that's what it's all about. So I did, of course, record things because content is everything. Uh, so please do enjoy this little montage of Zion National Park. Um, and do not let this be any form of substitute for going there in person. I know it's in Utah. Y you can look past the Mormons. There's Mormons there. Um, you're going to have to look past that. Really, that's in all walks of life. You're just going to have to look past the Mormons. Then you can start really enjoying it. Uh, but yes, enjoy this uh, look at Zion, and I'll see you in the next video. Well, I'll probably rant about something. Maybe, uh, I don't know, probably about some kind of disaster that's human-induced. <laughs>
just, uh, if I could break characters for a moment, I went on this trip to Zion National Park with my wife. Uh, and uh, she did all the work planning this trip. And she's a huge uh, hiker and is into all these trails and dragged me up uh, all of these hills. Uh, so this trip wouldn't have been possible without her. So huge shout out to my wife, because as beautiful as Zion is, oh, it doesn't compare.